as y'all know, my name is Lucas. Um, I went to Watertown High, and high school for me was a tough experience. Not only were the academics hard, but one of the toughest parts about it was going through a culture shock because um, when I lived in Boston, I went to school with people who came from the same background as me, and a lot of them shared even, like, the same story as me. And um, when I got to Watertown High, I had to adjust to the people and the culture and also focus on my studies. And if someone that had just started high school asked me for advice, I would tell them that being yourself is like really important and don't let the people around you distract you from the bigger picture. Cause when I was in high school, I guess like a lot of kids like really focused on like popularity and like, you know, trying to get into these certain groups, get into these parties and stuff. And like, you know, I've never been like the type of kid to really care about that kind of stuff. So I was focused on the bigger picture and like a lot of that caused them to mess up like last minute, you know, in time to graduate. And I've seen it all like with my own eyes. So um, I would say that. So make sure you put your academics over your, you know, popularity. And I would also tell them that your GPA does not determine your future at all or your character. I didn't graduate high school with the best GPA, but I know that there's a higher purpose for me in this life and that my GPA is not going to make my decisions for me in the future. So that's for sure. And that feeling I felt when I walked across that stage to grab my diploma, like it made me remember all those stressful nights and days where I thought I wouldn't make it. And I also remember when my middle school teachers told me that I also wouldn't make it and that high school wasn't for me. But they only said that because of the way I was acting. And as I get older, I realized they weren't saying that out of anger to unmotivate me. Rather, they were saying it to get me back on track because they believed in my potential. So I used to slack a lot in high school. I hated being in my environment because I wasn't with my people, you know, so I was not used to, you know, culture shock like that and transitioning into that kind of environment. And there was a couple of times where I did think about, you know, just quitting and dropping out. But I was emotionally driven by the fact that I was going to be the first of my generation within my family to graduate. So that alone is a huge milestone, not just for me, but for my mother, my sister, because she also dropped out. She didn't get to make it. So a lot of people in my family back home, too. And that taught me that I was capable of doing anything if I wanted to put my mind to it and bet on myself and completely double down and work hard. And my plans after high school are to pursue the field of sports management. Um, I decided to take on this field because I felt like it was a perfect fit for me. Um I always dreamed of working for a big sports team and just being part of my community, which is why I also work at Western because I love like giving back to my community that helped raise me and raise my people around me too. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Thank you.